Welcome to this video. This series of videos explains using heat transfer and thermomechanical analysis in Abacus software. In the first video, as you can see in this picture, heat transfer analysis of a plate will be performed. The plate is subjected to a torch and is in contact with the environment by convection and radiation. The plate also has an initial temperature from furnace and also has a contact with a table. The stress and strain distribution of this plate will also be computed in our next video. We start to model the plate in three-dimensional space. We create a part. The part is three-dimensional and deformable and we create it but by solid. The plate is one by one meter and we create a rectangle from zero to one and one. And also we enter the thickness of the plate here. Now we go to the property module. We create a material. We need density for heat transfer analysis because of calculating heat capacitance of the material. Then we enter conductivity and heat capacitance of the material. After that, we create the section and assign it to the part. And enter the part to the assembly module. There are various step types for analysis of a thermomechanical problems in Abacus software. For example, there are some steps which are coupled between temperature, displacement and electrical analysis. We also could choose between dynamic explicit and implicit procedure for solving heat transfer analysis. We choose heat transfer which means solving the problem by implicit procedure. We also have options to do a steady state or transient analysis in this window. We choose transient analysis because temperature is a function of the time and we also have options for incrementation which can be automatic or fixed. We set the initial and maximum size of the increment and also we enter a temperature which means that if temperature change is less than this value, the problem will be a steady state and the job will be terminated. We also can enter the maximum allowable temperature change in all of the nodes. Maximum allowable emissivity change also could be set here. We also increase the maximum number of increments and go to the interaction module. In interaction module, we should define radiation and convection between the plate and environment. At first, we define convection between the side faces and environment by choosing surface film condition. And then we should pick all of the side faces. After choosing faces, we should enter film condition coefficient, which is 2000 in this case, and also the temperature of the environment. Similarly, we define radiation between these faces and environment by choosing surface radiation and then choosing all the faces. We should enter the emissivity coefficient which is 0.8 for this case and also the temperature of the environment and after that we can go to the load module. We assume that the bottom face of the plate is in ideal contact with a very large table 
which has constant temperature of 50 degrees. Therefore, we assume constant temperature for the bottom face by picking the face and entering the 50 as the temperature of this face. Then we define the initial temperature of the table. As the table comes from a furnace with constant temperature of 100 degrees, we define predefined field with 100 degrees temperature all over the plate. Now we should define the torch effect. The torch effect is on the top face by creating a load and going to the step 1 we create the torch flux by surface hit flux we choose the top face and to create the special distribution of heat flux on the top face we use analytical field and create an analytical field here as you can see in this picture, the torch is fixed at the center of the plate and for calculating the heat flux in each point, we should at first calculate the distance between the point and the center of the plate and then use the exponential relation using A and Q constant. Please notice that the Q is the magnitude of the load and we entered it previously. The software shows the distribution of the load schematically and we can see that the flux is higher at the center of the plate. Now we can go to the mesh module. We use hexahedra and structured mesh for the structure and then as we want to have enough element along the thickness, we use seeding edge and set four elements along the thickness of the part. We also set a global mesh size for the part to have 20 elements in each edge. And then we should assign element type for the plate. The solver is a standard and we are doing a heat transfer analysis therefore we choose heat transfer elements which have temperature as nodal degree of freedom and as you can see the element is DC3D which means diffusion elements with three dimensional space for heat transfer analysis we should also define the absolute zero temperature and Stefan Boltzmann constant for this purpose, we enter the absolute zero temperature and Stefan Boltzmann constants in this window. Now the CAE file is complete and we can create a job and submit the job. We go to the results and by plotting the heat flux we can see the torch effect on the top face and we have higher flux at the center as we entered in an optical field. We also could plot nodal temperature all over the plate and we can find out that the maximum temperature is at the center of the torch and in the bottom face we have 50 degrees as we expected because the plate is in ideal contact with a large table with constant temperature. This problem and consequently nodal temperature is a function of the time because the problem is transient. Therefore, we can find the temperature of each point at any time of the solution. If you are interested 
in mechanical analysis of this plate and finding stress and strain in this plate, please watch our next video. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in next videos.